Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Rev, and this is The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. Get away from me, you creepy SOB. And we are doing The Wine is Sacred, and we're going to run around here and go into in the palace. And that is the Should the beast you espy tell the commander? Should be beast interesting. Friend. Yep, excuse me, pardon me. And what of the few? Geralt of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Step aside. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you return with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Or arm yourself with ample garlic and drive a stake through its heart. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt them either. Those methods? Pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done, because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your Grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The Witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. <sighs> nah, I don't want to get any skies killed. Whoa, this is work for a Witcher, not for your guardsmen. Yet when a Witcher fails, my guardsmen must step in. I'll take my best. Forty hardened veterans. No vampire can stand up to that. Forty, fifty, a hundred? Doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guard's men in action. Can they fight fog? Hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different, unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats, others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. Dead wrong. Thinking of lesser vampires, Alps, Ekamaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure, attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They think. They employ reason. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. What then do you intend to do? Hmm. It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, <laughs> impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Don't usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way, because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. <laughs> know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmailed? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman. A human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. 
or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No one else should die. That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estest, Erveluz, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me. Witcher, show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Mmm. Mmm, yes. Yes. The, the west bank of the Saint Latour. That, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue, deep burgundy. Clarity, high. It's simple. Saint Real. The 1269 vintage. That's... That's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello. Especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Uh -uh. Perhaps some song real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard. See if there's not been an incident. Wait. Your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. Oh, you don't I argue. hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hiney <clears throat> and do nothing while our duchy is in grave danger. Your grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go, accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will travel incognito. We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Oh, uh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. Hey, it was morning when I went there. Man. I gotta tell you, though, something about this fiery-haired loss. Oh, man. What were the actresses they did for this? Ooh. She's a thick brogue. Man. Just, you can tell some of the animations they really went all out on, and I think she's one of them. This vampire. Okay. Are we about done fitting him out? Okay. I have. How did it oh, end? Here we go. Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure, but he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Well, that's not good. All right, we'll have some systematic editing here, unless something exciting happens. Can 
Panthers have attacked the wagon. We must help. Stay back, Your Grace. We shall see to this. That's it, Rogue. Help! Save us! Whoa! Oh, okay, here we go. Back you beast. Look at these! Oh, that is so the wrong freaking thing. Kitties are running off. Oh, no, not Haha, <laughs> ha, got one. Help, save us. Back you, beast. Be gone. Sit down, kitty. Save us. Done. Time to move on. If, if not for you, we'd have been done for. They were Thank you. We saved our lives. Hooray! Yeah. Oh, Geralt and I are bad mofos. Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in Ortusa. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabricio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonrial stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard blackmailing the vampire? Could be a servant. Could be the steward. Could be the wine was just stolen from the estate. We shall know when we arrive. It's not far now. Not so fast, Rilch. Peace to our domains. Flout its writ and rot in chains. Captain de la Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. Especially since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. I. Trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... Your Grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Came to see you. Got some questions. In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. This is Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. <laughs> 